Hey everyone, welcome back. I've got a quick little update from you. This one again comes from 9to5Google. There's another update to a Google app on Android. And of course, 9to5Google does the APK Insight posts where they decompile an app and tell us all of the stuff that's in it. I'm not gonna go through everything that's in it because most of this is stuff that we don't care about. Uh, but this is the Google Home app and it, it adds some extra support for Google Wi-Fi. Now, Google Wi-Fi, if you don't know, is this, well, I actually have it and it's awesome. It has three base stations, which you can have around your house. Although I think you can buy them in, in like one at a time. I bought the pack that had three of them. Um, be, the reason for this is because my, my internet comes in on one side of the house and then the other side of the house could never get good Wi-Fi. So we bought these and you place these throughout the house and they kind of create a mesh network throughout your house and they talk to everything. And ever since we've gotten that, the 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 Wi-Fi in the house has been fantastic. So so it really works great and I'm a huge fan of Google Wi-Fi. Um, Wi-Fi is, or Google Wi-Fi is apparently adding in some Stadia settings. This comes to us from, again, the APK Insight. So now I'm going to scroll past the stuff that doesn't apply to Stadia, uh, but here we are. It says, there are a handful of strings related to Google's upcoming game streaming service in version 2.15. Under Google slash Nest Wi-Fi settings, there will be an option to optimize Stadia game traffic. This is very, very cool. So I, I've been thinking about this a lot because when we built the, the this studio up here in the attic, um, there's actually right across the hall from my studio is my bedroom. And we've got a Chromecast in there, we've got a TV in there, but when we built the upstairs stuff and we built that bedroom and we built this studio, I was like, this studio needs to have ethernet, without a doubt, this has to have ethernet. I did not make that decision when we built that room over there. So that means that my Chromecast is not using Ethernet, it's on Wi-Fi. And ever since Stadia was announced, I was, I've been a little bit nervous about that, about how that would work. Um, but now I really, really like that Google Wi-Fi is going to have the option to prioritize Stadia gaming traffic over other stuff. I think that this is huge. And for me, it's very exciting. Uh, so what else does it say in here? It says that there, this Wi-Fi gaming mode We'll have a support document that could work by prioritizing Stadia connections or whatever device you're using the Surface on. Another implementation could involve reorganizing, I'm sorry, not reorganizing, recognizing when a Chromecast is being used for Stadia and prioritizing that traffic. So basically, you turn on your Chromecast, you start playing a game, it communicates with Google's uh, Wi-Fi point. It says, hey, by the way, we're playing a game, which means we have to have the best speeds for this particular device, and it prioritizes those packets over everything else. I think that that's really awesome. I do worry a little bit, just a little bit, because, you know, my son might be playing, and I might be streaming on Twitch or something like that, and if that happens, then he might be stealing bits and slowing down my traffic. I might have to turn this on or turn it off depending on what exactly I'm doing. Uh, but, you know, it, it might just work fine. I have pretty fast internet, so that's not something I should have to worry about. All right, so uh, in here it says that we've got Wi-Fi gaming mode, and it says gaming preferred. You can turn that on. Then there's another string. It says optimize, optimize Stadia gaming traffic when active and available in your region. I'm not sure what that means. Like, why would optimizing Stadia traffic not work? In, oh, you know what this probably means? This probably means if Stadia doesn't work in the region that you're in, so let's say Stadia is not in the country that you're in, then this string won't activate. I'm guessing that that's what what the, what that means. Keep in mind, I am not an engineer. I am not a software engineer. I don't know anything about programming. I know a little bit of Python, and that's it. So uh, I'm doing this all just just kind of from common sense. 
All right. Now that would be pretty good news in and of in in, in it of itself. I can't talk today. But then we've got a second little piece of information what I think is exciting. It says here, Chromecast devices can automatically enable your television's game mode when Stadia is active for smoother gameplay. Now, if you don't know about this, you would not be alone. There's a lot of people who don't realize that TVs have a game mode. And a lot of people will put it on the game mode and they'll look at it and they'll say, it doesn't really look all that good. So they'll switch away from the game mode. The game mode, the reason it doesn't look all that good is because it has all of the post-processing stuff turned off. So modern TVs, when they have a signal, let's say that they are not using game mode, they do a bunch of stuff to make the picture look better. Now that introduces a little bit of latency from when the signal comes through to when you actually get to see it. It's not very much, but it does add some latency. Game mode takes all of that stuff away so when you're playing a game you have less latency now most people probably don't know about this most people probably aren't using game mode and so they are introducing a little bit of latency when they play their games uh even using uh like home consoles like the xbox um one or the ps4 or the nintendo switch so a lot of people just don't bother using game mode because at first glance, it doesn't look as good as the other modes. Apparently, Chromecast has the ability to detect, hey, we're playing Stadia, and then it can send a signal to your TV to say activate game mode so that you don't have to remember to do it. Because I know myself, I know I never switch my TV setting. I leave it on whatever one I decided at the beginning, and it's probably not game mode. I, I, I leave it on whatever setting that I ha, ha, that I turned it on, and I just leave it there because I can't be bothered to switch back and forth. Now, this does not say if a Chromecast can, can also turn game mode off. And I also don't know if this requires a certain HDMI spec because I do know that the Chromecast can turn some TVs on and off my TV that I have the, the Chromecast Ultra hooked up to in the bedroom across the hall, that does not uh, respond. Like if I say, hey, keyword, shut off the TV, it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. I can't have it turn on the TV either. I have to pick up the remote and do that myself. And it's not a big deal, but I know that not all TVs can support that. And there's nothing here that tells us whether or not that is supported via um, via that special HDMI spec. Uh, so I don't know if a Chromecast is is able to automatically do this with every TV and automatically switch it to game mode, or if it's just certain TVs. Now uh, let's just assume it's every TV. We also don't know if it's able to say, okay, we're done with uh, playing Stadia. Let's switch over to not game mode or whatever the previous mode that we were using would be. I do hope that that's the case because that makes it uh, probably the most user-friendly. You want to have as little friction as possible when it comes to this stuff. And I feel like I feel like so far Google is really, really thinking about the friction, the things that slow people down, and they're taking all of these things into account. I honestly have to say I never would have thought of Google Wi-Fi prioritizing Stadia traffic over other stuff. Like that wouldn't have occurred to me. I would not have thought to have the Chromecast automatically turn Wi-Fi, or I'm sorry, turn uh, game mode on in order to decrease your latency. So, I mean, Google is firing on all cylinders. They're doing all of this stuff that we had that I personally hadn't thought of, and I just got to say, way to go, Google. So, uh, if you didn't know, we uh, also have a podcast here at StadiaCast. You can listen to it by heading on over to Anchor.fm slash StadiaCast, or you can just go to runjumpstomp.com slash shows and uh, tune in very, very soon for my interview with my second interview with John Justice. Uh, he is an executive. Uh, he's a vice president at Google, and he is also the head of product at Stadia. We're going to have a video for that coming up very soon. And uh, if you 
If you like this, hit the like button. If you want to know when that video pops up, make sure that you subscribe and click the bell for notifications. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.